This is Joanna from Mitten. Hey, this is Maya from Mitten. We're doing Top Tuesday for Home of Ground on Wednesday because we're crazy. We're talking about an issue that's very important um, for all of us in 2011. Top Nintendo games? What are they? So my favorite Nintendo games are um, the only Nintendo games that I had. Okay, so Punch-Out is great. You are playing this little scrappy boxer named Little Mac, and um, uh, you go against all these sort of burlier opponents. Breakthrough. Um, you're basically like this assault vehicle in the army, uh, killing other army stuff. It was a great, great waste of time. Uh, another game I played a lot, 1942. You're like this tiny plane, and you're flying over this rippling ocean, and you have to uh, shoot attacking uh, planes, oncoming planes. It's kind of a wartime game. I usually didn't make it past the first level. Gumshoe is number four. Gumshoe is great because um, instead of like controlling your character with the control pad thing, you use the gun to shoot it. You shot your guy to move forward and your guy just like jumped in the desert uh, and also solved crimes as a gumshoe. Ghosts and goblins, you are in a graveyard and there are uh, all of these ghouls and spooky enemies like um, this guy that kind of looks like Uncle Fester who I think just wanders around and then there's like a huge bat that comes around sometimes that you need to attack. Number three is Rad Racer. I could sing you the theme song now, <clears throat> but I won't. But you can YouTube that shit and it's awesome. Um, I'm also pretty sure that it made an appearance in the feature film called The Wizard, starring Fred Savage. Kid Nicky Radical Ninja. I'll play you the little intro. Um, something great about Kid Nicky was that I discovered like a wormhole or this secret passage type thing all on my own. Didn't even need to consult Nintendo Magazine for it. Number two is Zelda, obviously. Obviously Legend of Zelda. Let me just start by saying the cartridge is gold. The uh, cartridge itself was golden. It has everything you want in a good game, like um, buying stuff from a store that you have to go down a lot of stairs to get to. It really, I think, greatly influenced uh, my music writing. Lots of times I'll send Maya an idea and It'll sound a lot like like when you're in the store buying like a sword with like rupees. It'll sound like that background like Ooh. A horrible thing about Legend of Zelda was um, the sound that happened when you died. It would just go like mm. None of those songs usually see the light of day. Important stuff. Uh, this is Maya for Mitten and uh, we're doing Homo Ground uh, Top Tuesdays. Top Tuesday. Homo Ground. It's Wednesday. <laughs>